For some Linwood High School students, it was like winning the lottery today. They were given thousands of dollars in scholarships and on-the-spot acceptance to historically black colleges and universities. Our community journalist, Eric Resendiz, has the story. A caravan of college recruiters made visits to Linwood Unified High Schools and allowed students to earn on-the-spot acceptance to a college, which included more than 25 historically black colleges and universities as options. I got accepted into Philander um, Smith College and they gave me a $24,000 scholarship. I was just over in the corner like crying happy tears. The caravan was organized by the National College Resource Foundation. They hosted their first annual Black College Expo more than 20 years ago. The foundation aims to help underserviced and underrepresented students. This program has proven itself. We've helped over a half a million kids get into college. We've helped students secure over a billion dollars in scholarships and grants. And this is today is about letting students know that regardless of their background, where they're from, higher education is available, access to higher education. Is here. The school district says they prepared their seniors for this big day by having their transcripts and test scores on hand. Organizers say the event is not limited to African American students. The caravan also aims to boost the enrollment of Latino students. I want our kids to have the best, the opportunity to go to a place where they will go beyond their, and spread their horizons. You know, you just got accepted in uh, what university? Coppin University. Uh, tell me how you're feeling right now. I feel excited mostly because I was probably, I'm not sure if I was the first person in my family to get accepted to a university, but also because I can play football for this school. And district officials say in the 2020 caravan, Linwood High School students received nearly $6 million in scholarships and nearly 400 students were accepted to a college. Eric Resendiz, ABC 7 Eyewitness News.